Hey everyone, welcome to Things Lucy Reads. I'm Luce and this is part two of my September book haul. This is non-queer books. Um, okay, so the first few I have are the other ones I had on lay-by and the first one is Headscarves and Hymens by Mona Altahawi or Altawi, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, this is about women and um, like the sexual revolution in the Middle East and I don't know a lot about the Middle East and especially women's issues in the Middle East which is actually something that I'm really interested in so hopefully <clears throat> this will teach me some things. The next book is Mr. Holmes by Mitch Cullen which was recently made into a movie with Ian McKellen. I saw the movie and it was so great it was beautiful and I really enjoyed it um, and I'm just really excited to read the book because I love Sherlock Holmes. And then the last book that I had on that lay-by is Shadows of the Master by Emily Rodder, which is the first in a new Del Toro Quest series. I didn't read Del Toro Quest when I was growing up, but I've been like reading my way through it now and really enjoying myself. So yeah, um, this one has a female protagonist, so that's really exciting. And then the next book is The Dressmaker by Rosalie Hamm, which I read early last year. I don't think I actually talked about it very much in my wrap up because I said I was going to do a video review and then that never happened. Um, but this has recently been made into a movie with Kate Winslet and um, Liam Hemsworth and Hugo Weaving and I'm super excited to watch it because it's going to be fabulous. Um, and I really enjoyed this book and I'm so glad that the movie tiny cover is so nice because the original cover is heinous and just we don't talk about it ever. The next book I have I found randomly for five dollars just at BW and that is Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes and apparently it's really really sad but really really good. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. The next book I have I bought entirely because of Ashley from Tea Leaves of Book Finding. She said it's her favourite book of the year and that is Breadcrumbs by Anne Ursu. This is inspired by The Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen which is a fairy tale that I don't know much about but I've seen one of the movies and I really liked it. Um, and the cover is gorgeous and she just made it sound so good and I'm really really excited to read it. The next book I have isn't so much a book as a pamphlet and it is The Unknown Unknown by Mark Forsyth. I picked this up because um, Vipka from One Book One Review was talking about it, she read it a few months ago and it just sounded really really good. Um, it's The full title is The Unknown Unknown bookshops and the delight of not getting what you wanted and I just think it's going to be really really great and it was only $3.50 on Booktopia so I grabbed it. The next book is a big surprise. Um, I was going to buy it one day on Booktopia for $33.50 and then I decided not to and then literally three days later I walked into a cheap shop and they had it for $4. I would have been so mad if I paid $34 for this. Because like, yeah, <clears throat> um, yeah, I've never read a translation of Beowulf um, and I kind of always just wanted to read Tolkien's translation of it but it was never published until now. So yes, I am very very excited to have found this for so cheap and like it's brand new, it, like there's nothing wrong with it and I'm just, yeah. I'm just really, really excited about this. The next book I have was is another present from my friend Joanna, and it's The Assault by Harry Moolish, which is um, it's a World War II novel. Uh, the last dark days of the war in occupied Holland. Anyway, she really liked it and she's been telling me to read it for years and years and years but I've never been able to find a copy. She bought me a copy and she sent me sent it to me and maybe I will eventually read it in um, another few years. Yeah. The last two books are part of the order that I got from Bookworld. The first one is Eon by Alison Goodman, which is Australian. I didn't know that this was Oz YA but it is and I'm super excited. Um, it's about a girl who wants to study magic but girls can't study magic, only boys can, so she dresses up as a boy to study magic. It sounds like the Song of the Lioness by Tamora Pierce, but Australian, so I'm down for that. Also, it's like inspired by Japan, it's got like a Japanese flavour, I'm pretty sure, and I don't know what it is with Australian authors and writing books about places that are like Japan. There's this one and there's The Tales of the Ottery by Leanne Hearn and there's Storm Dancer by Jay Kristoff and like I kind of understand the obsession because 
I don't know, Japan is interesting, but like, why? Why so many? Why are none of the bi-actual Japanese people? That's what I want to know. Anyway, um, a lot of people have um, really liked this book. I I haven't like heard about it, but it's on a lot of people's shelves and they talk about it sometimes. Anyway, whatever, the cover is really cool and I'm really excited to finally read this. And then the last book I got in that order is Asking For It by Louise O'Neill, which everyone who has read this says, this book made me so angry in the best way. It's about a girl who is raped at a party and when she reports it, everyone takes the side of her abusers instead of her because they are like the golden boys of the town. And just even thinking about it makes me angry. And this book is going to be excellent and I already know that every single person in the world should read this. Seriously, it's going to be amazing. Okay, so that is all for this part of the video and I will see you in the third and final part.